Hi everyone, how are you all going? I hope that you've all been having a lovely week. I am um, I'm not too sure who else is out there. I know that Brett, you commented a little while ago, so you might still be in the chat, which will be good. But yes, so this week we will be. Oh, here's Amy. Hi, Amy. How are you going? Oh, and Jezza's here as well. Hey, Jezza. How are you going? I um, I've been seeing that you've been doing lots of fantastic things on Instagram as well, Jezza. So that's fantastic. So this week, which is a little bit of a wild card, I think, was it last week I did? Hi, Corne. How are you, buddy? It's so lovely to have you here. So I think last week I did say that I'd ordered this and I didn't actually expect. Oh, and Gigando con Lego friends is here. Hola. <laughs> One of my lovely Spanish friends. Um, and I didn't actually expect this to come in yet, but it arrived yesterday. So I thought that I would give the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower maybe another week or two um, and then build this one up this week, which is really exciting. So, yeah, um, let's get on with this. I have taken all the little bags out of the boxes and everything so that I didn't have to scruffle around too much. So who else is here? <laughs> have I said hello to everyone? I think I've said hello to everyone. Oh, that's very wonky. <laughs> Which way do I go? This way. <laughs> that's less wonky. Okay, at least now hopefully you guys don't feel like you'll be um, on a tilted boat or something. Right. So, oh, sorry, I just crashed into my top tripod thing. Well, it's not really a tripod. It's a little step matter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, dear. So, um. Yeah, this is my first ever Creator Modular Expert building build, which is super exciting. But look at how many bags we get that are labelled as bag one. <laughs> and there's more in the large bag. So I'm, I'm not too sure that I really believe them that this is just like one bag. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh, no, that's always absolutely, well, some, well, annoying, I think is probably the best word. I think the nice thing with Lego is that we always know that we can rebuild it, but it is a, a little bit <laughs> frustrating. I know when I was building my NIDA elf shelf, water shelf, I'm not too sure whether or not all of you would have seen that, but that was one of my, well, the first elves sort of themed builds that I did on my bookcase. And as I was moving it over to film it, I dropped it. And a lot of the, it, and literally it was like about a third that just slid off one end of the bookcase and then I managed to stop it. But all of that third just went everywhere. And so that was all the rock work, all the <laughs> trees, <laughs> flowers, gems, a bit of water, all of that sort of stuff. Luckily, I had moved all the mini figs and all the um, the boat and everything, the dragons and all of that sort of stuff off it. But, yeah, <laughs> just remember standing there looking at this big pile of Lego going, oh, no, <laughs> just I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, Sai is here. Hi, Sai. How are you going? I've been watching some of your videos this week, especially all the short ones, um, which are really good fun. I liked your mini mini room tour as well, Sai. That was really nice. Um, I think I commented on that one, which is probably why it's stuck in my memory that we were having a little chit chat during that video, or in the comments underneath that video, rather. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah, Rogue. That's that's what I thought as well. I um, 
I think last week, like I sort of said to some of you guys, is that I think that the creator expert buildings are so gorgeous. But I don't know how much of them are actually like my aesthetic, except for this one, because I've always loved that sort of art deco, you know, Miami Beach sort of style of architecture. So, yeah, so I thought that this one would be good fun. And then I think a little while ago, a few streams back, I think we were talking about some of our sets that we've always wanted that we haven't been able to get yet. Um, and this was one of those that came up for me. <laughs> oh, God, look at all these. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, Corne saying, yesterday I built the Creator Lighthouse. It has a light brick and mirror stickers. This stickers create a projection on the wall and you can turn the light. Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, I think that that sounds absolutely so beautiful and so gorgeous. Um, I just saw his hat, there it is. Um, yeah, which is something that they quite often played played with light and that sort of stuff with some of the different little, um, old, old, I don't know, old-fashioned sort of games and things. I think that probably a good example was in... Sleepy Hollow, they had one that sort of spun round and then I think that they had something similar in, um, what was the film with this, about the circus stuff? Um, here's a mini doll that I prepared earlier <laughs> to be a diner chef. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, Cordae, and, and that sounds awesome. Right, I don't know where to put everything. <laughs> Lego the Maniac is going to be having a turning in his grave <laughs> if he sees this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, one of the things that I did want to try and do is to see if I can incorporate this into my Lego City somehow or another. And of course, in my city is actually all mini dolls. So I did have a look on the box at the minifigures. Hopefully I was able to see all of them. And, <laughs> and then I sort of tried to find matching mini dolls so that I could have mini dolls in here as well. I think um, Brick Emotion calls it dollify. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to run off with her language or her words, but yes. I thought that it would be quite good fun to see if I could dollify the um, downtown diner. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brett. Yeah, I'm, I am really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be loads of fun. I don't know whether or not I'll get it all done today or tonight, um, especially because <laughs> right before I started to stream, I was lying on the sofa and Pucky and I were having a little bit of a cuddle and he was snoring, which is so adorable because he just sounds like a little kitten. And um, it was actually starting to make me really sleepy. Then I was just like, oh, I'm supposed to be live streaming tonight. <laughs> so I had to quickly, like, get up and dash around, sort out my drink and all of that sort of thing before I pressed live go live on my um systems behind the scenes streaming systems the light brick is kind of broken it's very flashy as a mystery lighthouse yes sounds like a plan corne very nice i um i think that sometimes well like i mean i'm sure that you can get new batteries and stuff like that for those light bricks you'd have to speak to a smarter person than me to try and figure out all of that stuff but i'm sure that that's possible so oh hang on i should move you guys down again shouldn't i oops that's better less wall and more lego that's what we need in our lives isn't it um yeah, so I think that you'll probably be able to get that sorted. And how's everyone going this week? What's been happening for you all? Um, I know, Corne, you've been building loads. 
bits, which is really exciting. And you were able to get sort of most of your Lego haulers or were you able to get all of it? So that's been really cool. I know that, Sai, you've been doing loads of videos, <laughs> especially the short ones. Are they, are they TikTok related? Because I've been seeing loads of videos come up on YouTube with the hashtag short or shorts or something on it. So is that some sort of TikTok thing that I don't know about or is that YouTube's version of having shorter videos? I don't know. I, I just plod along here in <laughs> Western Australia not knowing what's happening in, in the rest of the world. Um, and Jezza, you've been doing loads. You've had some really nice hauls come through, buddy, which is so lovely to see. And it was really nice seeing some of your Instagram posts as well, which looked really fantastic and exciting to see some stuff come together for your big build. And I think we've got our 72-hour live stream coming up as well. I think if I'm right, that's next week as well. Is anyone else going to be participating? Sai, do you have a spot in that this time round? I know that you were there last time. I think that, that might be where I came across your channel as well. So, yeah. Oh, cool. So Corne's going all right. She's starting to build Stephanie's rehearsal stage, which was your first ever Lego set, and he's got a second one. Oh, that's so lovely. It's really nice when things like that come sort of full circle, isn't it? And how's um, college been, like, at the moment as well, Corne? I know that you had loads of work to do over the past couple of weeks. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and Brett's going to be in the 72-hour winter stream as well. Oh, that's really cool. We'll have to um, compare times, Brett, because I would really like to be able to watch your stream in the in the 72 hours, although I know Perth is in a really awkward time zone <laughs> for that. It seems to be in the middle of the night for everyone in the US and then it seems to be at strange times in the UK. Um, oh, no, Amy, I haven't seen that. I think if you sent that to my Facebook page, I'll, I'll check it out after this or tomorrow, tomorrow or after this, depending on how long it takes me to how long I'm building for. I'm um, Courtney saying college is going well. That's so cool. Glad to hear it. It's so nice um, to know that you've picked something that you're really excited about, Courtney, and that you're doing really well in. I think that that's just absolutely fantastic. Right, I do have one jumper that I have to remember to try and get in here, but counting and talking <laughs> is going to be <laughs> tricky. Yeah, I, I definitely want to read your stories though, Amy. I just think that you are so creative and fantastic when it comes to coming up with ideas. And you will be pleased to hear as well, Amy, that this afternoon, possibly one of the reasons why I'm a little bit tired than usual is because normally if I'm doing a live stream, I have a nap in the afternoon. Yeah, this is this is where my life's at at the moment. <laughs> it's that the older I get, the more naps I need. Oh, dear. But, um, <laughs> but I didn't have my nap this afternoon because I have started to customise not one but two mini dogs that have been requested. So their base layer is down, which is really good. So I do have a little bit more detail stuff to do. I think one of them is going to be quite quick to finish. So hopefully I can get that video up soon. Maybe tomorrow I might try and film something for this week. And then possibly, possibly what I might try and do is then, um, see if I can edit a video, which I do have all the photos for, but it, that particular style of video does take a long time to edit. Um, but I could start tomorrow and see what happens. Um, yeah. And then see if I will have a little bit more time in the afternoon to do some more um, 
uh, repainting, which should be really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah, like I said, one of them is probably going to be quite quick to finish and I'd love to be able to get that video up because I think that you guys would really like that one. And then the other one's probably going to take a little bit longer because I'm not too sure how my gold paint is going to go, which is a little bit iffy. <laughs> so sometimes, depending on what you're painting over, it becomes iffy. And then possibly for the other mini doll, it will also depend on um, um, What's the word for it? Oh, yeah, um, the, the design. So the rest of her design as well that's going over that. So, oh, oh, there's a big hint. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh, that would be so brilliant, Amy. I'm so excited. I um, Oh, I might have to send you some sneak photos as well and then we can do a trade um, and see what your thoughts are on things so far. So Jez is saying, waiting for a big Bricklink order so can carry on building City on Wheels, one critical part that you need to get going again, but happy to be on here while you wait. Excellent. <laughs> That's good to hear, Rogue, because we've got Wombat time as well happening here in the stream. So, yes. I think that that sounds like a plan. As long as you've got a bit of a plan, I've um, I've got a, another mini project that I really want to try and get on with as well. But I have had, I do have a lot of the parts, but not all of them. So I um, have done my wish list on Bricklink, but unfortunately, as per usual, not one store has everything that I need. So I might have to have a look and see. I think that there was one Australian store that had most. So I'll have to have another look at that and see what the price is. And then I might try and order that soonish. Fingers crossed if all goes according to plan. And then, um, and then see if I can get that little project ramped up as well, which I think would be a really good fun one as well. It's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing too. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I, he had to join me again. The little muddle-headed wombat <laughs> has to be here <laughs> for my builds. So yes, but somehow or another, we might end up being a bit wombat batified <laughs> on my stream. So yeah, very very cute little animals, wombats. I think that they're so adorable. Right. Lots of black and white tiles going down, which I must admit, I do really like the aesthetic of black and white tiles, particularly in Lego, <laughs> but it's something that I don't really like in reality. But in Lego, I think that it just looks so gorgeous. Yeah, I don't, I, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a copper stuffed animal. <laughs> so I'm... Um, at some stage, I will have to go and have a look for more animals to see what I can find and then end up with a whole legion of, of different representation. <laughs> so, But, yeah, cockers, cockers are so cute, though. Oh, my gosh, they are adorable. And I just think that it's so lovely with cockers that they just chill out. Like, they're just so fun and funny. Like they literally just hop around the island, which is just, and I think that a lot of the time people are so surprised that they just like hang out, just like, yeah, this is what we're doing. So, yeah. yeah, I will. I will have to find a few more little animals along over time. But no, no coppers in my collection for now. I, um, I actually think that that's a very well-travelled wombat as well. So um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that wombat actually got sent to me when I was living in the UK. Oops, no, that's wrong. Um, so, yeah, he got shipped all the way over to the UK for me and hung out with me while I was over there. And uh, then, <laughs> then he got stuffed in my luggage and brought home again. <laughs> so... He's been a globe-trotting wombat 
<laughs> which again is sort of quite funny really so yeah it's been an interesting week so any other interesting oh yes <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the cocker selfie thing is really funny. Well, but, I mean, they do have super cute little faces and they're very photogenic because they have such cute little faces and they're smiley and happy little animals. And why wouldn't they be? For the most part, they are very loved in Australia, well, in, in, on Rock Nest. And people get very upset if anyone is ever mean to cockers, as they should do. Um, yeah, so quokka selfies are very, yeah, are very cool. And I think that they, and quokkas just lend themselves to have selfies naturally as well. So I don't blame anyone for wanting a quokka selfie at all. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, when you come over, Corne, we'll have to do a trip over to Rock Nest and, and sort out a little quokka selfie for you. <laughs> which would be really good fun. Yes, I have heard of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. And I think the UK version is actually filmed in Australia, isn't it? Is that correct? I think it might be, which I find quite funny because I wouldn't really think that Australia is that much of a horrible place to hang out in. But clearly it, it must be. So, yeah. But I guess I, I guess it just depends on what you're used to, you know. Um, okay, right. I do need. So I think anything can be a bit daunting and scary. <laughs> and obviously, if you're competing to eat horrible things, then yeah, that's probably not not very nice either. Right, the little red ones. Red jumpers going in. Um, and, oh, yeah, so set the 72-hour stream. That's right. I was going to talk to you guys about that because next weekend is the 72-hour live stream. And, um, but Chop, who organises it, um, I've been able to secure a like a couple of streaming times this time round, which is really cool. They are in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm in America, but they're my afternoon over here. Um, so that just means that I think next week I'll probably do that stream and not do my normal 8 o'clock one. So I have a two-hour slot on in the afternoon and then I have a two-hour slot at the same time on Sunday as well. So you'll probably get both of those instead of my normal 8 o'clock slot. And then hopefully what I will be able to do is just link in my description who's streaming when and who else is coming up after me and all of that sort of stuff as well. So hopefully I should be in the chat on whoever's streaming at eight o'clock next week which would be really good fun so yeah that's sort of my thoughts on next week um and then the other thing that was really cool was that uh i was talking to corne over um in dms over on instagram and i was sort of saying it would be really nice to maybe do some retro set building so go back and build some of like the sets from, from a few years back. And one of the collections that I've always really liked was the snow resort collection where we had the little mountain cabins and we got the little hot chocolate van and uh, the ski lift and all of that sort of thing. So I was just wondering what were your thoughts, you guys, for me building that next week on the 72 hours stream, which would then be two different videos. So just let me know if you think that's a good idea, if you've got any other ideas about different sets that I could build, keeping in mind that it is four hours. 
And I do think it would be really cool to actually do some more building of like friend sets or princess sets in the stream since probably no one else will be building with those in the stream. Possibly they might, they might, they might not. But I don't think that it's a like a hugely popular theme in the 72 hour stream compared to others. So I thought that might be really cool. So Amy saying, because of the virus, it's a castle in Wales. So that sounds actually <laughs> like a really nice holiday to me. <laughs> I'd love to be staying in a castle in Wales. <laughs> and again, I know that with the game is that it wouldn't necessarily be that enjoyable, you know, is that there probably wouldn't be like hot chocolates and roaring fires and all of that sort of stuff because of the nature of how I'm a celebrity works Corne saying snow resort sounds great yes and what i will try and do is do up like the little thumbnails and whatnot and try and get them up onto youtube a little bit earlier just so that then you guys hopefully can see the time difference at your end as to how that all works i don't know <laughs> and then you can figure out if you're going to be awake or around or whatever to be able to join me because it would be lovely to have some of you guys in in my little streaming session although I do know that not all of you will be able to make it because it is a different time compared to usual right oops I've gone astray again uh oh Bucky's still snoring in the background I can hear him I don't know if you guys can but it's the cutest thing oh my gosh he is just the most adorable little dude just absolutely love my little dog he's so funny so yeah um I don't I don't know Amy because I don't have a te television <laughs> so I know I am um, I, I do think that there is an Australian version where there's Australian celebrities I don't know where they go though or quite what happens with it um, yeah so the only thing that I sort of really watch is uh, YouTube which is usually one of the reasons why I can keep up with everyone's fantastic videos although not all the time because there's so many but um, yeah, and then I usually just watch like movies or DVDs or whatever as well. So yeah, I'm <laughs> very behind the times when it comes to TV shows. I don't know. Um, and most of what I know of TV shows is what people have said on YouTube or you know at work or whatever as well. So I'm I'm very <laughs> uneducated <laughs> in these sorts of the situations. But, yeah, quite often on YouTube if I'm watching, I don't know, some sort of clip from a TV show or whatever and they're talking about something then they might play something from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here or whatever. And I think that that's where I've sort of know the gist, the concept. The concept of the game is pretty much probably all I know, all I can speak to. So, yeah. But I always think that it's sort of interesting to... Um, Put, put people together in situations that might not necessarily hang out with each other in situations, if that kind of makes any sense whatsoever. So, you know, it's I think it's always good for people to mix with someone that they probably wouldn't necessarily. I think that's one of the reasons why I've always sort of quite liked the Louis Thoreau documentaries and that sort of thing as well, because he tends to always try and be kind of respectful and reasonable to people while at least hearing part of their views um, even if he doesn't agree with them personally but I think that that's also one of the things where that helps to change people's minds about you know um, topics that they may not have necessarily you know positive I don't know, opinions on and that sort of thing. There's this really nice um, clip of, uh, oh, I can't remember anyone's names. Anyway, anyway, I think there have been times where, where that sort of, oops, 
concept has worked really well in sort of bringing light to issues that that people wouldn't normally think about. <laughs> yeah, eat, yeah, and eat eat bugs and stuff is the part where I just sort of go, yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> But I'm not too sure how much of that would be going on in a Welsh castle under normal circumstances. So <laughs> if it wasn't for I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, then I don't know whether or not anyone would necessarily be doing that. But, you know, I think that also comes back to that whole thing of, you know, uh, I think that we all do things that are a little bit strange to, to everyone. Do you know what I mean? Like we've all got quirks. So one person might go, oh, my gosh, I can't ever imagine eating something like that. And somebody else is like, what do you mean? That's delicious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's the acronym, Jessa, definitely. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Weird original marsupial bear, like adorable thing. Yes, agreed. They are completely adorable. They're just so cute. Oh, my gosh. We're really lucky. Um, <laughs> um, we're really lucky here because, well, like, I mean, a few years ago when my niece and my nephew, nephew came out, they were, a bit, they were quite a lot younger, but we did take them to one of the um, animal parks here. And at that animal park, you do have the opportunity to actually, you know, go up and sort of, Meet, a, meet and greet a wombat, which is kind of cool and kind of cute. Um, and so that's what we did. And this wombat was just the cutest, like, most chilled-out animal <laughs> ever. I'm sure that um, the wombat, I think it was a he, was, um, like, brought up in captivity and all of that sort of stuff, was a wombat rescue and that sort of thing. Oh, hey, Brickish, how are you going? <laughs> It's so nice that you're here. We're just talking about wombats, <laughs> amongst other things, rambling on as per usual. Um, and I have lost a tile, found a tile. Yeah, so it was really nice to be able to meet this, like, wombat and, like, huge animal, like, it's absolutely massive sort of animal, which is you know, not surprising, I guess, but yeah, um, but yeah, really, really, yeah, yeah, and I think that that's the thing, Amy, like, that's where I just sort of go, I think it's really interesting when, you know, people can actually share their story and, you know, you start to humanise some of the reasons why someone might behave the way that they do or, you know, um, feel the way that they do about certain topics and I think that that really helps like breaking down walls and I think that the interesting thing is quite often when we do sort of look at a lot of social media and those sorts of things is that they uh, feed us the opinions that we want to see and hear and I think that then that becomes quite dangerous because then we assume that everyone thinks the same way that we do um, which is nice because then we get to sort of live a blissful sort of existence <laughs> but um I think it can be a little bit tricky when it comes to then you know working out how we can actually you know live together in a healthy functional society so yeah it's always interesting right we've got to spin this around and figure out where to from here right finding bricks <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> corner is going to be building forever. <laughs> was a, that was a massive hole. <laughs> and that's my <laughs> thoughts as well. Still building, oh, my gosh. But in a good way. It's, it's, it's so cool. You know, obviously, we're all here because we love our Lego building. Right, or building Lego, rather. Did I say that backwards just then? I don't know. Yeah. So lots, lots going on, which is cool. <laughs> Corner saying small, small Lego fall. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure whether or not we believe you that it's a small porno. Um, right, I need a white one by one here and a grey. Right, and the tile. Right. <laughs> cool. What else has been happening with you guys as well? Anything else interesting to think about? Chat about. Um, I did actually end up seeing some of the Colosseum pictures this week as well because I think did they release the official ones? So that looks like a really lovely build of a set. Obviously not a set that I'll be purchasing, but I can still appreciate that it is a very, very gorgeous looking set. I think that it's going to be quite a nice one for people to sort of build and post and all of that sort of stuff with. So I will be hoping that there will be a couple of other channels that will be getting that one so that I can watch their videos, which would be really good fun. Right, and now where am I up to? Okay. <laughs> There's... It's really funny on here because sometimes you get like really simple instructions. Like I'll show you instruction number 10, right? This is instruction number 10 where we've basically got one, two, three, four, five parts. And literally it's just like all here. Then on the next page, we've got this madness going on. <laughs> and they're everywhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, clearly this was developed by someone who wasn't factoring in live streaming. <laughs> oh, brick. oh, fantastic, yes. I really liked that build myself, obviously. You know, anything Harry Potter, I do enjoy that. So yeah, I thought it was really nice. Um, I did think, and I think that this is fairly consistent with a lot of Lego builds, is that sometimes they do make the, um, the, the connection to the carriage and the horse is a bit clunky. So, but I don't know quite how else you'd make that more streamlined. So, you know, as per usual, they did such a good job with that. So, yeah, yeah, a really nice set. I'm, Loved it. And especially if you got it for a good price, then even better. I know. I, I honestly cannot believe that I was able to find the diner. Like on the Australia Lego site, it has been out of stock for ages and ages and ages. I think that it sort of disappeared back in like March when we first, when the country first went into lockdown. Not surprising because I think that everything went out of stock then. And I remember we were having a conversation, I'm pretty sure it was on one of my live streams, about how unlikely it was to come back into stock because it's due for retirement. And, um, yeah, and then all of a sudden I was on the Lego website, I think checking to see whether or not any of the hidden side stuff had come back, particularly the haunted mansion thing um, that I've been talking about for the past few weeks as well. And that wasn't, but I usually check that stuff from my wish list. So I've created a wish list. It doesn't have very much on it, about eight things or something. Um, but the diner was one of them. And then it was just like, yeah, we're back in stock. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And so literally <laughs> it's just like, okay, I'm going to have to buy this now, <laughs> get this done. And, um, yeah, so I just sort of chucked it in my cart straight away so that I didn't miss out. Luckily, I had quite a few VIP points from when I bought all the, um, the micro-scale Hogwarts. I still have VIP points from that. And then also when I got the uh, Diagon Alley as well. So luckily with those VIP points, it did manage to bring the price down a lot to a much more sort of affordable price for me. Um yeah, so, yeah, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, I think I think that this is why I sort of quite like the diner, Amy, and I know that it's really interesting because a lot of people who collect the modular sort of go, this set doesn't really go with any of the other architecture, 
And I think that for me, I just sort of go, this is the architecture that I absolutely love because I just really love this sort of retro sort of feel and this sort of retro look. And I think that a lot of the sort of 70s architecture that I think some of the Friends um, go-kart sets were sort of based on are very reminiscent of this sort of architecture, which I think was more like from the 20s. Although don't quote me on that because I'm not really a uh, person that's known for their accuracy when it comes to topics. <laughs> so I've just got more of a general conceptual idea rather than any accuracy in it at all. <laughs> so, yeah, but, yeah, I really like this sort of style. And, again, I sort of think to myself, even the colours, like this dark teal colour um, with... Um, the pink, I just think, would look really nice in sort of like a Friends. In, yeah, in a Friends, uh, in, well, in my Lego city, which is primarily based around Friends stuff. Right, next bit. <laughs> um, getting really distracted today. I don't know why I can't multitask at the moment, but it's um, that's okay. I... Uh, We'll get there, won't we? That's the main thing. So, yeah. And it's going to be interesting because I think I was watching a video today and they were saying that we should be getting some more uh, images coming out soon. So I think uh, Down Under Bricks, I watched his one of his haul videos, which is kind of cool, to see what he's been hauling. It'll be interesting to see how he goes with his... Um, Lego City because I think that he's moving some stuff around um, with some of his stuff, which will be good. But, it, yeah, it will be um, – oh, hang on. Did I miss something here? Oh, yes, I did miss something. <laughs> Just one thing. <laughs> right. Now we're back on track. Okay. Um, yeah, and he was sort of saying that um, he thinks that we'll probably be getting images for the next modular soon. So they usually come out at some stage. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I kept on doing this week as well. <laughs> so I kept on checking the mail incessantly. It will come one day. It will be there. And yeah. I think that that's also one of the tricky things about um, BrickLink is then having to wait for it to arrive. <laughs> a very, very handy site, but it's also a, a masterclass and a test of our patience, I think, sometimes. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I was saying, yes, I'll need to place another <laughs> wombat cuddle here. Here, Jezza. There's your wombat. Let's pop wombat over here. There you go. So there's your little cheer up wombat. <laughs> you can just hang out with wombat and, and console each other. <laughs> no. I'll have to... Um, See if I can find you a wombat, Jezza, and send that over to you as well at the as part of our sig fig trade, I think. That may actually, oh, I don't know. If, I don't know how heavy. I have to find you a very large, heavy stuffed wombat to send. <laughs> oh, gosh, because then that would probably bump your postage up enough so that it's going to cost a reasonable amount of money, which is weird. To have to say that, but yeah. Oh no! <laughs> That's terrible. Right, I think that's where I'm up to. Right. 
Okay, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the um, official images for all the new stuff that will be coming out. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, yes, Amy, definitely. I definitely want to try and, um, I think, as Brick Emotion puts it, qualify it, <laughs> which is why I've already gone through and tried to match up all the figures. <laughs> so I do have my little collection of mini dolls that I've tried to match with the mini fix. I think that there may be a few things that I might need to change, particularly with the car, with the pink Cadillac. Um, but I'm hoping that for most of the other stuff, there won't be too much of an issue, but who knows? It's tricky to tell. Yeah, because I will have, well, not have to, but I would really like to have a uh, mini doll uh, for like mini doll style, a mini doll version for my city. I think that that would be really cool. Right. And, and also make it a little bit different as well because it's sort of nice to be able to modify some steps, some step sets and that type of thing as well. Oh, my gosh, I was really struggling to even try and get the words out then. Um, how does this go in like that? I think. Yeah, okay, cool. Oops, not that one. So, yeah, that's something that I think would be really nice to be able to do. Okay. Um. Okay, so overhangs. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I did those round the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> no wonder that wasn't working. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, fit these ones. So these are to go that way what I would call vertical, not horizontal, but I guess it just depends on which way you're looking at it. Right, this one goes in here. Cool. And we've got this little contraption over here. Oh, found it, yay! <laughs> That's the best. I remember when I was putting together the video on the, all the elves characters, and I think it was for the forest one, which is where I also included um, the Goblin King, and there was one of the bats, and I just could not find this bat anywhere. I looked all over for it, and I was thinking to myself, oh, my gosh, I can't finish this video without this bat. I'm going to have to order another one. I've lost it. I don't know what's happened to it. <laughs> And then I found it and it was just on the back of the dragon. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm sure that I looked here. How did I not see this ding ding bat on the back of this dragon? But anyway, it's just one of those things. Just one of those things. What can we do? Right, okay. Now it looks like we've got a little bit of snot building stuff going on. So this way, right. But yeah, it, it's such a relief. I just think that it's such a relief <laughs> when we get to find these things. Yeah, honestly, I just couldn't believe it. I, I was looking for that bat for days, for days and days and days, and I was getting more and more stressed about it. And I was just like going, it's only one bat. I can't believe that I can't find this bat. I've got all the other bats. I don't know what I would have done with it. Where's it gone? What's happened to this bat? And, yeah, just just on the back of the dragon. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my gosh. So there you go. Sometimes if my videos go up late, that's why they're late. <laughs> I know, exactly. It's funny, isn't it? Like I just sort of go, I just couldn't believe, like, I was, yeah, and, and especially when I was just like, I'm sure that I looked on the back of this dragon multiple times, like multiple times, and I still couldn't see it. It's just like, oh, my gosh. So, Courtney, this is what happens when you're not around. I, <laughs> I need a carer. 
<laughs> oh dear. No, it's fine. I think that we all do it, you know, happens to the best of us. Um, but I also think it's one of those things where we, when we just sort of go, oh, I have to be really careful and put this in a really safe place, then I must remember that I've put this really important thing in this really safe place, that then we just sort of go, mm, no, brain's not going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like even that. You know, the amount of times that I think that we've all sort of gone, where have I put my sunglasses and they're on top of our heads? You know, it's that thing. <laughs> I'm, just, just like, I'm sure that I checked the top of my head, but no. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask both parts. Oops. Little table legs. Oh. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's just got, like, I just think that it's just got such a nice feel to it. I just really like this build because of the, the feel that it gives me. I just love all the sort of curved sort of tables. It's just got such a lovely sort of like little retro feel to it. It's sort of my vibe. Right. Need more of those. And I think more of these. Yes. So, yeah. And Pucky is still snoring. <laughs> he's a tired boy this week. Normally, he's not snoring this early. But we have had a bit of a busy week. We did actually, um, I ended up doing most of my hours this week on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. So I managed to have most of Friday off, not all, but most of it. So, which was really cool because I was able to catch up with my mum and my stepdad and we ended up going to the movies. And we saw this really cool movie, which is an Australian film. Um, and it's called Bam. And it's about brothers that are sheep farmers, which is sort of quite fun and quite funny since my uh, stepdad is a sheep farmer. Well, he now breeds rams, but, you know, that type of thing. And it's actually set very close to where I grew up in Western Australia as well. So, yeah, it was really cool to just hang out with them and go and do something fun in the afternoon and, and that sort of thing. I think that that's also helped a little bit with my productivity this week as well um, because it was sort of like quite a nice way to finish off the week and actually feel like the uh, weekend's been, uh, the weekend has actually started. I think that was the nicest part of it all. I know, possibly, possibly Pucky has been out partying while I've not been looking, which is why he's extra tired. I think that he is known to, to do that occasionally because, you know, that's just how pugs roll, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's the wrong one. So. And then, oh, my gosh, I know. The amount of times that's happened, Coronet, to me is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> It's just like, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, yeah, but it's still in the bag. <laughs> so, especially when you feel like um, <laughs> you've double checked that bag so many times to make sure that it wasn't stuck in the bag, and it's just like, no, nope, it was. It's still in there. I know, pugs are. <laughs> Does Pucky have a girlfriend? I don't know. I don't think so. But who knows what he gets up to when he leaves the house <laughs> secretly? <laughs> oh no! Have you got a have you got a cold, Corne? I hope that you're not ter terribly unwell. That's really bad. 
So just make sure that you just rest up. That's the most important thing, I think, for um, trying to get over things. Plenty of rest, plenty of sleep. Give your body time to heal as best you can anyway. I know that sometimes it is easier said than done. But, oh, Raps is here. Hi, Raps. How are you going? We're building the uh, downtown diner this week, which is really cool. So my first ever creator expert modular build, and it's coming along really nice so far. So, yeah, lots of fun. But, yeah, and pretty chilled out this week as well, which is cool. So how are you going? Let us know in the comments what you've been up to this week. I hope you've been going okay with all your uni stuff. I know that you were talking about exams and that type of thing last week. So I hope that you've been... <laughs> I thought it was real. This is a wombat. <laughs> it's a little cheer-up wombat because uh, Mama's Bricks had a wombat in her stream when she joined me last week and I actually had a very similar wombat um, on my shelf. <laughs> so I had to go and bring my wombat <laughs> Yeah, this week. Yeah, this is my first ever creator expert modular. Yeah. So I don't own any of the others. This is the first one that I've ever bought. Obviously, I do have the Disney Castle, the Disney Train, Hogwarts Microscale and Diagon Alley. So they're all probably my biggest, fanciest type sets, I guess. But yeah, I've never had, I've never built like a creator modular before. So yeah, first time, first one. Is this, is that right? That is right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that's the cuddle there. That's the cuddle one, that at. <laughs> I think. Um, you know, as as we were saying, that you know, Pucky can be a little bit of a party animal behind the scenes if he wants to. I don't know what he does in his spare time. You know, I'm not his keeper. He's got you know certain freedoms. He can live his life how he chooses to. But um, one of the few things that he does do um, is actually decrease rodent populations. So he's very, very handy when it comes to that sort of stuff. So I don't think that I would ever, ever have a mouse in my house, <laughs> which is a blessing. That's a good thing. But, yeah. They're fine outside. Happy for them to be outside. I'm just not here with me. <laughs> so, yeah. But not so good with other things. So, yeah. But, you know, that's like all of us. We've all got our strengths, I guess. Yes, and Pucky's is that he's very good with mice and rats and keeping them at bay and away. <laughs> I thought it was a mouse toy, yeah. <laughs> and I, I do, well, Pucky does have some mouse toys. So, um, but most of the mouse toys that I have close access to are, um, are a little bit mangled, so I won't show them because <laughs> that's a little bit gross. <laughs> They're ones that have been well played with, definitely. And I think the thing is that I, the wombat isn't really to scale at all, is it? <laughs> so that's probably the other thing that's throwing me. You know, in the real world, wombats are much, much larger. <laughs> okay. So, oh, right. Uh, things. Need these things on here.
this one here. Okay. And I think these things. Right. So, oh yes, I I um, am very excited about the advent calendars. I have got my Harry Potter advent calendar, which is really cool, and I but was really quite tricky to track down. So I was a bit surprised at that. Um, oops, not that one. So, and I have also been able to get the Friends one as well. So I have put them aside. They're in my little stash which is really cool. Um, but, yeah, which um, advent calendars have you got this year, Amy? So, yeah, I'm only going to get those two, the um, Harry Potter and the Friends one. I'm very excited as well to see the Friends one, um, especially with those little uh, micro elves as well. So I think that that's going to be really cool. And then Raps is saying that she doesn't have any modulars yet. Want one? I know. I think that that's the tricky thing with these modulars is, like, I mean, they're not super affordable. You know, they are definitely priced towards people who have a job <laughs> and can afford to buy them. Um, yeah, but... Um, yeah, I think it was just more that thing where I just sort of went, mm, I didn't really want to miss out on getting the diner. Um, and then it was just lucky that at the moment that it did come back in to um, be available, I actually had money to buy it. <laughs> oh, no, the Star Wars one. Yes, I know. I've been really surprised, though, at how quickly they sold out. I actually had to do a click and collect. don't know if you guys have that, but you can go online and you can click and purchase it online. Um, but rather than paying postage um, or getting it posted out, you can choose to just go and collect it in store. But the only um, store that, it, that they still had the Harry Potter calendar available in was like a half-hour drive from me. So I had to drive all the way to June Club to get it when there's literally like a Kmart less than two k's away from me. So, you know, a five-minute drive down the road. But that Kmart had sold out of all the Harry Potter calendars, so I had to go where it was. And I think that that's where I also just went, oh, my gosh, I didn't want to miss, didn't want to miss out on that. Oh, hang on, it wasn't counting those. Oh, are these... Oh, no, these are old nuts. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, I'm not paying enough attention. Okay, right. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. And Amy's just got the Harry Potter one. Yeah, I'm really happy with the Harry Potter one, like just for the minifigs alone. I think that there's a really nice number of minifigs in that set. Um, I'm really happy that we get the Patel twins. I'm really happy that we get Cho in her dress as well. So it just means that we've now got Harry, Ron, Hermione. Um, and then with the other whatever set it was, <laughs> that we got some of the other characters. We also got Fleur in her ball dress. We also got Cedric. We also got uh, Victor Crumb as well, didn't we? Um, so, yeah, we've got a really good little collection of the characters at the Yule Ball, which I think is so nice. So I just sort of go, that's going to be so cool to be able to create, like, a really nice, like, little scene even if we don't have, like, a huge city or anything like that, it just means that we can sort of do something really cool and really fun with it. Okay, right. Trans ones on the front and white ones on the back. Cool. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's so fun, Gordo. I know. It's exciting when we can sort of be able to treat ourselves and... 
um, get something that we've wanted. That's pretty much what happened with this thing as well. I wasn't expecting to be able to afford it. But like I said, having had the VIP points um, to take off it, that's actually the bit that made such a huge difference. I know, I know. I really like... Um, <laughs> I really like the your ball theme as well. So that's where I just sort of went, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being able to get some of those characters and having more ball dresses, like all of that stuff, as you can imagine, is just right up my alley. So, yes, super pleased with that. Right, there's our little jukebox. Very retro, very cool. Everything that we'd want in a diner jukebox. <laughs> Raps is saying changing my display to winter even though it's autumn in Heart Lake City it's winter because I say so exactly we get to do what we want <laughs> that's exactly how it should be I'm all for that have I oh my gosh yes I have been missing all sorts of things uh oh uh oh um, where am I up to? One, two, three. Oh, yeah, right. You were meant to go in here. <laughs> oh, dear me. And are you okay? Right, and then you were meant to go here, and then you can go there. Right, okay, cool. I'm getting there, gang. Slowly, maybe. I don't know. Right. Okay. Right. Yes, I am. I'm getting there. Just missing out like one whole corner of the build over here. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and I think that that's the whole thing, really, isn't it? It's just prioritising things. I must admit that's one of the reasons why I do find things like wish lists <laughs> on various do you want to buy our stuff sites kind of useful <laughs> because it tr keeps track of what I think that I want and, and, you know, what's actually something that's going to end up being affordable. <laughs> oh, thanks. I love that. Right, okay. One, two, right. Yes, I'm back on track, gang. Slight detour, slight going backwards and forwards in the instructions, but I'm I'm here for it now, again. Hopefully, maybe. Don't know. <laughs> I said that with absolutely no confidence whatsoever, didn't I? <laughs> I know it's um but I think it's also one of those things when it comes to like what we purchase and those sorts of things as well is you know I think things are tricky and I think that at the moment you know the, the world is a tricky place and I think that sometimes when there isn't that much certainty or security with what's going on and and that type of thing is that it is nice to then be able to sort of just go, I just want to take my mind off things and relax and, you know, enjoy myself because, you know, mentally, you know, just existing is so draining. And I think that sometimes we've just got to give ourselves a bit of a break when it comes to that type of thing and, and whatnot. And, again, I think it's also becoming increasingly more challenging to be financially responsible as well you know I sort of think that um, when I think about you know my parents generation is that they had the incentive and the possibility to be able to afford afford to buy a house and to be able to pay it off and that's becoming increasingly more difficult um, you know um, so Corne's finished building another set. <laughs> yes, Corne, I know that I'm going slower than what you do. 
I'm just trying not to think of it as a race. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Um, I don't know what year this module is from. Does anyone know in the chat? It was from a few years ago because I think that we've had the corner garage and the bookshop since then. Is that right or has there been an extra one? I'm not sure. I don't know anything. I don't know why anyone asks me anything ever. <laughs> I should know more, shouldn't I? Oh, dear. <laughs> Every time you guys ask me something, I just feel like such a fool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Bookshop was this year. Corner Garage was last year, wasn't it? And then was this one the year before or, or was the Parisian restaurant in there as well? Or did the Parisian restaurant come out before this one? I don't know. I can't remember. Again, it's it's probably partly because I never expected to be able to afford to get a modular. Um, so I didn't pay much attention to it. <laughs> yeah. So is any can anyone Google stuff? <laughs> So that we know what, what we're doing. What's going on with the world? Yeah, this is actually a really cute little build. It's a little coffee percolator thing, percolated coffee. Very, very American diner vibes from that. And then we've got our chopping knife and our frying pan. Right, was that everything that I needed to put in this bit? Possibly. Okay, and right, and then we go here. And in here to more steps. Oh, cool, but so, I know, I really love the Jasmine sets. I think that they did so well with them. Maybe, oh, I was going to say maybe that's another option that we can all build together. And then I realised that I've still got all my jasmine sets in my mocks. So, no, <laughs> can't do that, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's how you're supposed to go. So we're now putting our little red stools in place, which is really cute. And um, one more. Oh, there we go. Jezza looked it up for us. Excellent. 2018 is when the um, downtown diner came out. So, yeah, a couple of years ago now. Right. And that's everything for this page. I won't put the mini feeds in, actually. I do have the option to. Right, gumball machine time. And then Rats and Corner. Yes, Stephanie's rehearsal stage is the one with the ballet mini dolls, yes. And I think that that was actually a really pretty set. And that was sort of around the time where we started to get um, a few more sets from the Friends range that were like um, sort of more thought out and more about creating a little bit more of a story for the girls and that type of thing. Okay, let's stuff some more gumballs in here. Because we've got spares. And you're going in here, I think. Right. Okay, so that's that bit. And now we get to come around the back and put in the back door, which is kind of cool. I remember seeing this in some of the builds and stuff that I watched, but I forgot that they put in like this really cute, like little back laneway vibe. Right. Rubbish bin, touch some of the stairs. Oops. 
it's not doing quite what it's supposed to. You're going here. Okay, right. I was just like, why, why have I still got a strange tile left? Yes, it's there going up here. Okay, bag number one down. Excellent. And I for, forgot to bring my little bucket again. It's just so annoying. Oh, right. Bag number one down. How long did that take? Just over an hour. Cool. Let's see how we go with bags number two. So once again, bag number two is not just a simple bag number two. Oh. One, two, three, four, five bags and whatever mini bags are in this big one as well. So I don't believe you, Lego, when you tell me that there's only five bags in this set. But anywho, just means that I start off with a large pile of hearts and then we whittle them down bit by bit. And I get to... See if I can find all the mini thick parts a little bit easier as well. Let's combat oh, combat struggles. Top oh, and legs. Legs and top. Good. And for those do I need hair and roller skates? Found the hair. Oh. Ah. Oops, got there. Lots of pink parts in this little bag, which is nice. Glass. Tray. Okay, Amy, thanks so much for stopping by. Lovely to chat, as always. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, fantastic, Corne. That's really cool. So two more sets to go. Mia's Lemonade Stand and Olivia's Newborn Foal. I remember both those sets. Lovely door. Door. I think that the uh, lemonade stand is a really, really nice set as well. I think that that was really well put together. And I always liked having the lemonade stand and the juice bar, I think, next to each other. I think that they were the two sets that I used to always put together because it was sort of like a similar colour palette. I think. Right, a big mountain of parts once again. <laughs> but mini fig first. Oh, where's it? Where's the head gone? I could have found it. Oh, it's wrong way over there. Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh. Right, uh, only single face print, which is fine. And top trousers and little red roller skates, which is kind of cool. And then we've got the tray, the glass, and the, I just saw it, I've lost it. There we go, milkshake bubbles. So there's our next little mini fig. Very, very cute. 
and oh, are you going to stand up for me or not? This is the struggle that I always have with mini feet. They never want to stand for me. No. Okay, you don't have to hold on to your tray. We'll just put that next to you, behind you or something. Right. And the mini doll that I created was this one, but I still want to change the hair over and then swap over the roller skates as well. So we'll see. So that's the version that Lego gave us with a mini fig. Let's just do a little bit of a hair transplant and roller skate transplant. and see how we go. <laughs> kind of cute. I like it. I think it would be cuter if she had magenta roller skates to match her the magenta on her top. And then it would also be, oh gosh, now she's not gonna stand up either. Oh my gosh. And um, yeah. And then maybe like more vibrant stripes. So she might get a little bit of a recolor at some stage or another, possibly. Right, okay. Now I have to figure out how, how I'm going to deal with all these parts. Let's push them all to the back. Right. <laughs> Scruffle them around. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a couple bits here. Oh, yeah, the the uh, Sunshine Harvest is really nice set as well. I do really love that one too. I think that that's really pretty. I always liked putting that next to the ranch as well because I thought that they looked really nice next to each other as well. Uh, too many parts to stop with me. Right, maybe. Oh, that's just okay. Right, I didn't look at the instructions properly. I thought that was a one by one brick and it's only one by one plate. Oops. <laughs> no wonder I was struggling to find it. Oh, and then I need two of these in here. That seems a bit random, but okay, if you want. And I can't believe that this plate has already got pug fur all over it. And yeah, I, I, I've seen some of the photos for it, and it is. It's absolutely ginormous, isn't it? It's huge and so detailed as well. Again, not something that I'll probably buy, but I'd be really interested in seeing other people build that set. I think that, that would be really interesting to see how that's all put together and constructed. And I can definitely see that the um, the people who are fans of those sort of um, architecture sets and that type of thing, it, I really, I would imagine that they really enjoy the Colosseum. I can completely understand that. What are um, what are your thoughts on that, everyone in the chat around the Colosseum? Is anyone going to get that? Are you interested in seeing it? Not your thing? I'm just a little bit curious as to, you know, what are the thoughts? Obviously, you know, I think that I've mentioned in here before that I do quite like watching like the historical documentaries that pop up on YouTube <laughs> since that's all I watch. Um, and I think I have seen it not, not for a very long time because I ended up going off on other strange historical tangents re more recently. But, um, yeah, I have seen some very interesting documentaries about the Colosseum and that sort of thing, and I think that that's quite a fascinating um, time in history. Right. Now we need other little bits to come together. And Pucky has now moved himself onto the sofa and he's snoring. It's just, I don't know what he's been up to, but it does feel like he's been out partying. 
maybe he did end up having a big Friday night and just never told me about it. <laughs> um, what else do I need? Okay. Oh, there's that bit that I was just looking for. Now we need other bits. And oh, whoops, that was the wrong way down around. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Roy, we do know that you do like to build big. <laughs> If you're going to build, might as well build big, hey? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how I'd go building in that sort of scale either. I did enjoy the micro scale Hogwarts, but I do prefer mini fig scale a lot more. I think that that's sort of my preference. But again, one of my favourite channels to watch is Kaz from Blockhead UK, and she has a huge micro scale city. Micropolis, which is, you know, absolutely awesome. And I think that that's always been, like, the interesting thing for me as well is that things I enjoy watching aren't necessarily things that I enjoy building. And so, you know, again, I just sort of go, I always find it quite interesting to um, watch things that I don't own or don't have as well. I think that that's really cool as well. Been to a Colosseum in France a few years ago. Yeah. And I think, again, that I think that that's always been the interesting side, like, of, of history for me is, you know, when you sort of think about architecture or history or, you know, whatever it happens to be, I think that that's always, like, an interesting sort of side to... Um, Think about, learn about, be educated on. Because quite often we always assume that new is better. And the more modern we are, then the more advanced we are. And I don't know whether or not that's necessarily proven to always be the case in everything anyway. So, yeah, it is... Um, it's always sort of interesting and exciting to sort of learn about these sorts of things. See these sorts of things as well. And I think it's nice for Lego to be sharing that stuff as well. Oh, I don't know why I put that there. That was a bit random. <laughs> right, back on track again. There was only a mini tangent as well, so not a massive tangent. Okay. And then... That goes in here. Oh, cool. Yeah, like that. All right. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put all the tiles on the front. <laughs> um, can, I, can I squidge them in now, do you reckon? Yes, maybe. And then what other Lego news have we had recently? I've started to see some of the people doing the um, Sesame Street builds as well, which I think is really cool. Oh, Ratna, hi, darling, how are you? It's so lovely to see you in the chat. And um, thank you so much for commenting on my 400 video as well. That was really nice to see your comment. Very enjoyable. So, yeah, um, we're just having a little bit of a chit chat about up and coming Lego sets. Oh, <laughs> gosh, I wasn't expecting that to happen anyway. Um, yeah, and there's a few things that are coming out soon, aren't there? So, okay, that's a bit of a weird. 
I'm assuming that that's just like a stack of pancakes, which is kind of cool. But I'm a bit nervous that the top pancake isn't attached to anything. Uh -oh. Uh, and then we've got two cups on the counter that aren't attached to anything either. Uh oh, especially with my um, coordination today, that's going to be a bit interesting. <laughs> so, right. And, oh, and Ratna, just because you've stopped by, I'm building the downtown diner today, which is the first time that I've ever got a creator expert modular building. So it's a little bit different, but I do want to add mini dolls to my diner as well. So I'm sort of swapping over the characters that we officially received as mini figs in this build over to mini dolls. And I have started to swap some of them over but I also just want to sort of get a feel for what else needs to be done which is going to be kind of cool kind of good fun I think um, and that I need another one oops I need this and I need that Corne's finished me as lemonade stand. Yeah, it's a gorgeous set, isn't it, Corne? I really like it. It's so cute. I don't know. Where are you going to be putting all this Lego as well? How are you going to be able to fit all these friend sets? <laughs> Thanks, Rikish. Um, as well as the um, ginormous Diagon Alley as well. That's That's the struggle of how we can fit in, continue to fit in lots of Lego. <laughs> right, that goes in here, which is really cute. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I know, I still don't know how I'm going to be able to fit all my Lego into where it needs to go as well. I just figure that that's a problem for future roof. That's all I, that's the only solution that I can come up with. I'll just deal with it later. <laughs> Don't know how much of a solution that actually is. Okay. Um, what I do? Just little jumpers. Oh, nice. Oh, big stretch. Another one of these. Uh, another jumper. Oh, can't find it. Okay, come with, back to that later. Um, so what else has been happening, everyone? I don't know quite what we're going to be chatting about today. I should have really thought of more things to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Sesame Street. Yes, I have seen that a few people are posting their Sesame Street builds as well. It's going to be really interesting to see if anyone does any modulars, I mean, mocks with it, like if they do any modify fields and that type of thing. All my figs are falling over now as well. My <laughs> parts are getting out of control. Okay, all right. Oh, I do need that jumper, 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 jumper. Oh, there it is. Found it. Um, how do you, how does this attach though? Oh, right. Okay. I see. Right. Okay. I missed a key step. Like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's like the industrial sized, like exhaust fan type situation. Okay. So, okay, right. Here and here. 
And then longer ones down here, which is really cool. And, um, oh, and oh, the other thing that I will just remind you guys about again, because there's a few different people in the chat now, is that next week I will be doing the 72 hour live stream. So my streaming times will be a little bit different, but I will be streaming for two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday. And I will try and post the little reminder thumbnail card thing to my YouTube earlier in the week just so that then you guys know when I will be on YouTube. And obviously, because it will be a little bit of a different time, is um, if you can't make it to the stream, hopefully you can just find the time to, like, re-watch the replay thing instead, perhaps. So, yeah, but obviously no pressure. Do whatever makes you happy. It's all good. Oh, exactly. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting the rooms as well. And obviously being a fellow Ravenclaw, I'm really looking forward to the Ravenclaw room as well. So that's going to be really interesting to have those little additions to the Hogwarts Lego collection, which I think will be really cool. Uh, do you know if we're getting any minifigs in those sets, Corne? Because I think it would be interesting to see if we were going to be getting any specific minifigs. Um, okay, now, right, this bit, which involves one by ones. So, one, two, three, four. British. Oh, we are getting mini fix. Yes, the the um yeah the book Lego set book things. Oh, Corner <laughs> is actually talking about his actual bedroom. Oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I told you I was baked today. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh well, that's going to be awesome as well, Corner. The more Ravenclaw that we can have in the world, the better, I think. So go for it. Okay. Um, do you know, um, Brickish, do you know what minifix the different sets are getting or not? Have we got that information anywhere yet or not really? I don't expect that we would have, but just by some off chance, if, if, if there is information about that out into the Lego sphere, I'm curious. Because I think it would be interesting to find out what Hufflepuffs we're getting because we haven't had very many Hufflepuff figures. So I sh would we get Cedric again? I don't know. I'm assuming that we'd probably get Luna or, or Cho or both. It would be interesting to know whether or not we're going to get any of the heads of house as well. Because then we would be possibly getting another sprout, wouldn't we, for Hufflepuff? Oh, cool. There was info on it. Oh, yes, that would be lovely if you could have, well, you don't have to. You can just sit and relax. <laughs> but if you feel like looking something up for us, I'm sure that more than me would appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know. I should know more, shouldn't I? Oh, dear. It's terrible. Oh, no, yes. I am... Um, It's, it's, I think that that's the blessing and the curse with pets. It's really, really difficult when we lose one of our little furry family members.
I'll um I'll have to try and remember to message her after after this just to see how she's going as well. I know. Well, I sort of messaged her earlier in the week, but that must have been while things were okay. So yeah, that's sad. I think yeah. A lot of the time I try not to even think about it too much because I honestly don't know what I would do without Pucky. <laughs> and I am joking a lot, a lot of the time, that I do want more little furry friends as well. <laughs> half joking? I don't know, half serious? I'd love to have more dogs. And I, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And cool. I really. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at how nice that shape is. I know that that's off the topic. I feel like I need to change that message. But that's such a nice looking shape there. As per usual, Lego has excelled themselves with their level of detail. Well, not as per usual. There's been a few sets that haven't really stood in the test of time. But this one, <laughs> this one's doing well, and I'm not surprised. A lot of the people that I know that bought this back in 2018 and I watched their videos and all of that sort of thing really loved this set back then. And I will have to go and um, send Angela some messages of love and cuddles and support to her. Right one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Me too. Let's back a bit. Yeah, even how this window is coming together as well at the front's really cool. Okay, right now, more stuff. More stuff going on. Um, find more stuff. <laughs> Two, three, four. Two, three. Here. Here. Um. I'm just trying to think of what else we can talk about. I have um, started to go through and re-watch some of the Avenger movies and what I am doing this time round is watching them in chronological order. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that would be an interesting take on re-watching stuff, which is kind of cool. I have gotten up to... The end of the Iron Man movies. So that's where I'm up to <laughs> with all of that at the moment. And I do have some of the television series, not all of them, but some of them. So the next thing that I can watch as part of my return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe is um, like. Okay, right, cool. So this goes in here. Oh, cool. I like that. That's nice. Um, and oh, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, I do have some of the movies, but not all of them. Um, and I mean, some of the TV series, but not all of them. So I, the next thing that I'm starting on will be S.H.I.E.L.D. season one, which is going to be kind of cool. So I did actually quite enjoy the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series. 
I um, I don't know if everyone did, but I kind of enjoyed some of the different characters in that. So, yeah, it's going to be nice to be able to just sort of relax. Maybe I might end up doing a little bit more of that tomorrow as I'm going through and doing some more of my mini doll repaints. Yeah. I know, I really enjoyed all the, um, a lot of the series. There were a few episodes here and there where I just sort of went, oh, I don't know. But for the most part, it's just really fun and quite sort of enjoyable and that type of thing. Four, five, seven, is that right? Six, seven, yes. Um, so, yeah, I think my favourite series was when... Um, they were on the alien planet. <laughs> what was her name? I don't know, the character. Oh, I can't ever remember anything. As soon as I start live streaming, honestly, my brain just goes completely to mush. It's the worst. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Oh, hi, Amy, you're back. Just still building and chatting about different things. Uh, I did watch Agent Carter. I really enjoyed that show. I thought it was so good. I was actually really disappointed when they didn't renew it. I thought that season two had sort of ended off at quite a good point as well in order to continue on with that series. And I thought that it would be really interesting to... Um... What have I done wrong? Have I done something? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I have done something wrong. <laughs> Put out of in that second column of glass bricks. Oh dear. Beautiful temple. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Brick Studio is here. Hi, Brick Studio. How are you going? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, cool. So with the um, Hogwarts books classroom things, we've got obviously that's Gryffindor is Minerva McGonagall and she's the head of Gryffindor. And then we get Ron and Hermione as well. Oh, cool. Oh, well, that should be quite a nice little Gryffindor set, especially if we're going to get transformation classrooms as well. I thought they were going to do the common rooms, but that's obviously just my misunderstanding and lack of knowing anything. <laughs> yeah, I really loved Agent Carter. I thought it was cool. I think Agent Carter, just as a character, is really awesome as well. So that's probably why I liked that too. And I think that it was just really nice to be able to set something in post-World War II as well in the sort of 40s and 50s. Oh, cool. <laughs> Brick Studio is just made a video going to let other people besides me make a Lego YouTube rewind of 2020 where people share what all happened in 2020 in the Lego community. Oh, that's so cool. Such a good idea, Brick Studio. Right. Okay. Right. I keep, <laughs> keep having to focus today. Cool. So there's like the little detail of the front door. Whoops, as my pancakes slide into the chair, which is kind of cool. I like that. And then these are all curved bits as well, which fits into that retro um, architecture style really nicely. Yeah, my pancakes fallen into the chair. <laughs> Just have to ignore that. I kind of suspected that that might happen, which is why I was not happy that Lego just had tiles on top of each other. but it's all good. Oh, herbology classroom. 
Neville and Cedric Diggory. So that's kind of cool too. I'm glad that we get another Cedric. Oh, Charms is Flitwick, Harry Potter and Cho. So is that then going to be the Ravenclaw one, Corna? Are we going to end up with a little bit of a love triangle situation or love interest situation in the Ravenclaw trap classroom? I did just see that white plate as well. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Dear. Oh, hi, Robin. How are you going? It's so good to see you here. So the actual YouTube Rewind got cancelled. <laughs> so I'm like, let's make a Lego YouTube Rewind. <laughs> yeah, I love the idea. It's so much fun. <coughs> and we should be having more, a little bit more fun in the world as well, if we can. <laughs> <laughs> and all the student mini fakes have the short legs so i'm assuming slytherin's probably then going to be draco and snape and potions is that what they would do <coughs> have i done this right I don't know. Cool. I know. Well, there's been lots of really good things that have been happening in the. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. There's been lots of really good things happening in the Lego community. I think this year. So yeah. It sh hopefully it should be nice to report on. Mind you, I don't know what um, Lego drama there would be. <laughs> Is there any? I don't know. Right. I'm a bit confused about this bit. What's happening with this bit? Oh, I see. Okay, right. Who's like that? Cool. Great. To connect it all in together. Okay, just not looking at the instructions once again. <laughs> I'm getting there though. So how's everything going with you, Robin? I hope that things are settling in. I hope that you've settled into your new place okay as well. And I hope that Ezra's doing well too. So it's always nice to hear how you guys are going. I have seen that the wonderful Mrs. H has scored a, yet another bargain for you with that fantastic Ghostbusters Ecto. She is just phenomenal at finding those bargains. <laughs> oh, yes, I did see that set as well. That's really special. And so cool. I um yeah, I thought that was wonderful. And super fortunate. You know, such a such a good um set to have as well. And I think in the comments, did you say that um that it had like the little plastic container, glass container thing that went round it as well. They sent that to you too. Because I thought that it was such an interesting display case as well. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. Is there something else? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh dear, this this live stream is just one long stream of me talking to myself, trying to figure out what I am actually doing with this set. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that he's already standing up. That's amazing. You guys are going to be running soon. You will be chasing him everywhere. So cute. 
It's so amazing. Oh, dear. I am... Um... <laughs> it's just remarkable, really, isn't it, how quickly it, um, all that sort of development stuff can happen as well. It's just so mind-blowing and fantastic. It's just brilliant. Right one, yes. <laughs> oh, is it? Did they send that to you, or did you get that? Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's gonna go. <laughs> I can't imagine why having a a standing unfold in the house. <laughs> I just find it interesting that it's a um, plastic case for sports memorabilia that Lego had sent or used or did Robin find that to use to display in? I just need the details, which is funny because clearly I can't remember very much, but I like having the details. <laughs> Oh, I know. Look at how nice this is coming along. The ground floor is looking really lovely. And again, there's just such lovely details in here as well. I'm not surprised, though. I'm not surprised. Okay. Six. One back. Cool. Oh, and I've got to remember to put all those um, stars on the wall as well, which is kind of cute too. <laughs> so let's pull all those out. All my feet keep falling over. I should have really, oops, I should have really got more plates so that I could squish them onto those and balance them. These are the little star tiles so these are printed not stickers which is really cool and these go on all of those little studs in here not all of those the four tiles go on the four studs on the wall which i think again is that sort of real retro feel isn't it these stars actually remind me of like the walk of fame hollywood stars <coughs> But again, that could just be my imagination. I don't know. But it's definitely got that sort of vibe to it, doesn't it? Cool. So um, Brick Studio, are you still in the chat? If you are, let us know what's happening with your rewind video. You'll have to keep us posted on that. I'd be really keen to watch that and see what that's all about. I think that sounds like such a fun idea as well. Really, um, yeah, really cool. Oh, dear, more <laughs> falling over. I can't. Oh, she'll just have to lie down. She can just stay, stay lying down. <laughs> Got too much building to do. I think is this going to be the awning? I think that this might be the awning. Um, cool. More construction going on. I can probably move some of this forward. Shuffle this around a little bit so in the hopes that you guys might be able to see it better. I don't know. Can you? Oh, the comparison series on Insta. So, Courtney, remind us, what are you going to be comparing? What's, what do you mean with all of that? <laughs> let, let, let everyone know in the chat what you're up to.
I'm sure I'm not the only one that needs re refreshing. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Hopefully not. Okay. I don't know why, but I keep... Oh, anyway. I feel like I'm getting very jumbled today. But that's okay. It happens to everyone, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, all right. Oops. Um, yeah. Oh. Older and newer sets. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yes, that's going to be a great idea. I think, yes, I think that you did tell me about that before. I've just drawn a blank as per usual. Whenever I try and start uh, streaming, I can't remember anything. I think because there's so much to concentrate, instructions, building, chat, <laughs> talking, everything like that, I can't keep up. But obviously that's fine. You guys are always so nice to me anyway, so it's all good. Right. So the two lighthouses, yes, the two soccer sets, uh, all the Lego friends' cars, bedrooms, etc. Brilliant. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. I um, I think that that's why I've always enjoyed doing things like the every character ever made stuff. First of all, I always find it quite enjoyable to know that how far I've gotten into a collection and that sort of thing um, and to see all the characters. And I particularly like seeing the same character that's been done over a few years lined up to see how that character changed and evolved over time. Um, and that's actually one of the videos that I do have planned coming up. So I think that I've only got one more to do in the L series, which is ARA, which I keep saying incorrectly. I think it's ERA. Or I don't know how you say it, but I always say it the long way. I always overpronounce my vowels. Um, but, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that one. I've also got the Frozen one, should be coming up soon. So I do have all the photos taken for that. Um, but I still need to... Finish off some of the details. So where does this go here? So, yeah, editing is going to be the big one for that. And the editing usually for those ones takes the longest. That's what I've particularly found with the elves um, videos that I've done like that. So Instagram is probably a lot quicker. <laughs> a lot quicker and simpler and faster to do those sort of comparisons with. Okay, I think that that's looking quite nice. I think it's not too bubbly. Cool. Okay, right. Have I missed something again? Yes. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I did. But it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm getting there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't know how everybody else feels about that stuff. I think that there have been a few other um, comparison videos with some of the other different themes as well. I know that um, Down Under Bricks was talking about doing comparison videos of some of the Batman sets that he has. So, yeah, I think that there's a few people that do that type of thing, which is kind of cool. I know that it was really interesting to see the comparison between the friendship bus and a lot of the other bus vehicles um, that I had, particularly next to, I think, the hidden side bus. 
Um, because I think up until that point, everyone had kept on talking about how massive the hidden side bus was. And then when you saw it next to the friendship bus, it was just sort of like, oh, actually, <laughs> the friendship bus is massive. I've done this right. Oh, just say, oh, that needs to be one more over. No, I haven't done this right at all. Everything needs to shift one more over. Good thing I do have a brick separator. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Corne needs to hunt for Stephanie's original house. Uh, oh yeah, and definitely we all need to get Andrea's house when it releases as well. It'll be interesting to see how popular that is, though. I suspect that Ellie V will end up grabbing that set as quickly as she can and posting a video as soon as possible. <laughs> I think that she's been hyping up that set for ages. As she should. Finished, uh, Jane, Amy's finished the Jasmine set, now doing the pop-up storybook set. That's so cool. Oh, dear. Right. More things to focus on. So that's where the front's at at the moment. I suspect that all that yellow and grey is probably going to disappear at some stage or another. <laughs> Brickish, sorry, got dragged into Instagram. That's okay, no need to apologise. <laughs> I know how that goes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it is. It's really coming along. I am... Um, I'm not too sure whether or not we're going to get much further though today. I um, I don't know whether or not I'll be able to sit here and build the whole thing since Pucky's snoring still and it's really putting me to sleep. <laughs> so I might actually finish up this bag and then we might uh, call it for today, which is fine. Hopefully you guys will be happy with that. I have, it has been over two hours now as well, so I think that that's a very good innings for a live stream. So I'll have to see whether or not I can restrain myself like I had to do with Diagon Alley <laughs> and uh, build it back on stream or whether or not I'll just be building it tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, no, not yet. Not yet, Robin. I'll still be finishing up this bag. It will take me a little while. I'll probably be here for another half hour or so. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I was saying to everyone earlier that right before I started streaming, I was cuddling with Pucky on the sofa and, I was, and he was snoring and he still is. And it was just so relaxing and so soothing that it was, was sort of lulling me to sleep and I was just like, I can't fall asleep now. I've got to jump up and stream. And um, the whole time that I've been streaming tonight, he's done nothing but snore. So he was lying on the floor snoring. He's now moved to the sofa and he's snoring. So my lovely little dogler is having a very relaxing Saturday night. <laughs> and I'm just sort of like going, I just want to cuddle with my dog. But I'm thinking also like a, a two-hour live stream is a very good innings as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Darren. How are you going? <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. Lego Man Ballarat's back, which is great. It's always lovely having you in the chat, Darren. Um, right. Cool. Oh, and Raps is saying that she's frozening and <laughs> Stephanie tells for the winter display but don't know if you'll have enough white pieces yes uh tr trans clear trans blue <laughs> I don't know 
<laughs> possibly um <laughs> what else would be good oh sometimes that like pale minty green color would that work this is very interesting here so yeah pucky <laughs> yeah ballarat's a really nice part of the world i think um what was i saying um oh yes uh for you guys who are a little bit new to my stream just building up the downtown dino and this is actually the very first creator expert modular that i've ever built ever bought ever built which is so enjoyable i'm really enjoying this build even though i am quite vague today once again oh hang on was this meant to be closed there? no that was right okay and i am actually doing a lot of talking to myself while i'm building as well <laughs> so i apologize for that too i can't help it <laughs> Oh dear. Right. And then we're going to add in this little one. Yeah, so I'm actually really enjoying these build techniques as well, which is so cool. Oh, Brick Bunnies TV is here. <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you going? I hope you've been having a nice week. I am um, just building up my downtown diner, which I was very lucky to find at the Lego shop online the online lego store because we don't have an actual physical shop here in perth yet um yeah and i couldn't believe my luck of it coming back into stock at this sort of late stage of the game so as soon as i saw that it was back in stock it, it has been on my wish list for a little while i think on my instagram a couple of months ago Angela uh, posted your four most wanted sets and on that, on my most wanted set list was this set <laughs> and that microscale Hogwarts and uh, Cinderella's Romantic Castle, which I haven't gotten yet, and then also the Ewok Village which I think would be a really cool set to have as well since I am a, an Ewok fan. I don't know a lot about the Star Wars universe, but I've always liked an Ewok. Um, so it's quite exciting really to think that I posted that a couple of months ago and I've been really lucky enough to be able to have gotten the microscale Hogwarts and then also this one. So it's kind of cool. I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that and white translucent blue lavender light blue only light colors gorgeous <laughs> yeah exactly i know <laughs> i know brickish you turn around for five seconds and we start talking about star wars but but it's all over now <laughs> no more star wars chat <laughs> no just teasing um, oh, I think I was just saying that, um, yeah, that it's, I feel really lucky to have been able to get this set since it was only a few months ago that I put together my four most wanted sets and on the list was this one and also the Harry Potter Hogwarts Microscale Castle and I've been really lucky to have been able to get, you know, this set and the Microscale Castle this year. So two of the most wanted sets that I've had on my list I've, I've been able to sort of purchase, which is so cool. Oh, Baby Yoda, oh my gosh, so many people want Baby Yoda and I don't blame them. Baby Yoda is just a master stroke in cuteness and adorable, you know, nuss as well. <laughs> Is yeah, is Baby Yoda part of the Mandalorian? Is that right? Have I got that that part of the story correct? I've not seen any of the modern Star Wars movies. Only the first three, which are not really the first three. <laughs> it's 
Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, uh, my Star Wars <laughs> knowledge. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 really nice to have those. And I think that that's where I just sort of go, it's really nice to have those wish lists, isn't it? You know, it's so lovely to be able to have that sort of thing of it would be fantastic to be able to get hold of these sets and these sets are on my wish list. And then I think that it's so lovely when, you know, you can actually cross that off and sort of go, oh, wow, you know, such a nice sort of feeling to be able to sort of go, yeah, I was able to do that. Cool. Right. So we've got another little section here, which I think tucks in like this. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. So there we have like the little back area, which is also got like a little curved veranda section too. Okay, right. <laughs> and then, oh, <laughs> right, trains. I love that. Yeah, I'll leave you guys to discuss Star Wars in the comments, which is fantastic. I love that you're doing that. <laughs> I just don't know how I would join in with that conversation, <laughs> which is fine. I don't have to join in with all of them. That's cool. <laughs> and, yeah, I yeah, it is. It's something that's sort of satisfying. But I think it's just one of those things where you just sort of go, sometimes it's nice just to be able to wait and sort of think, oh, yeah, I'll, I can just pace myself and enjoy that and, you know, have that as like a treat. And I think that that's what's always been sort of quite nice for me doing like the second hand halls and those sorts of things, especially with some of the friend sets, is sort of going, oh, I didn't expect for this, this one to be in here, and that's awesome. And then even meeting some of the really nice people that I've bought secondhand sets off is that I know that a couple of them sort of said, oh, my God, I posted this and everyone was going nuts and it did my head in. <laughs> Do you want it? And I'd be like, yeah, cool. <laughs> so, again, I think that that's sort of quite cool as well. Yes, and, yeah, Mrs H also does really well with Fabuland stuff as well. I've seen it, that you've had a few other things um, pop up on your on your face, uh, on your YouTube as well. I do have to keep reminding people that I do my best to comment every now and again, but I actually watch a lot more than what I comment on because I still can't figure out how to comment while watching YouTube on my smart TV. I just need someone to explain how to do that to me in a way that makes my brain understand it because at the moment I can't figure it out. Right. Okay. So we're back to this bit and it looks like... Okay, right, let's start with here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you, Robert. No, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'll have a look at it after. Ewalk Village is one of mine too. Yeah, I think so. Oh, really? Okay, I'll see what I can, I can see. Is, I'll, I'll see if I can ever scrounge that one up. <laughs> is it worth it? I think, oh, that's okay, Raps. Thanks so much for stopping by while you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend as well, hey. And keep posting on Instagram as well. I'm loving seeing your stuff pop up there too. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'll say that I'll have to go soon and I know what's going to happen. I'll just keep sitting here rambling on until midnight. <laughs> I don't know why I think that that's not going to happen. 
Right, okay, another one of these. And a little one of those. Cool, and this one is here. Cool. <laughs> Know. It's a fan favourites are going on, <laughs> Robin. You've, you've fallen down the Star Wars rabbit hole there, I think. It is a very interesting universe, though, and I must admit that one of the things that I did end up seeing um, one day evening when i was watching youtube stuff is that i did end up watching a lot of the making of the star wars stuff the new ones with is it ray is that the name of the character the the girl character that's the is she a jedi i don't know but i did end up watching some of those making of videos and i thought that it was really interesting i actually really liked the fact that they did actually use puppets for some of the animals instead of just all cgi especially considering that, you know, animatronic puppets and those sorts of things lend themselves to a little bit of realism as well. So, <laughs> mine too. I sort of max out at around about the Ewok <laughs> level, though. <laughs> That's my limited knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, cool. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. Like me as puppy house. Um, I'll have to have to think what oh, you'll have to. Uh, Emma's fashion studio. Yep. Yeah, I think I know that one. Olivia's. 2012 Robot Lab and Olivia Speedboat. Yeah. I know it's nice to find some of the more rare sets as well. I think the only thing that I um, do struggle with is poly bags. I don't know why, but in Perth, we just don't get poly bags. None of the shops have poly bags. We can't get hold of poly bags. So I must admit that that's where my lovely Angela comes into you know, her own because she's now my chief polybag source of <laughs> gamekeeper of all things polybags, <laughs> which, again, is just super lovely of her. She's such a sweetheart. And I think that is she doing a live sort of stream as well with someone else soon as well? I know that I saw something get posted over on her um, Instagram as well but I forgot to check with her if she was going to be doing that on Instagram or if that was going to be on YouTube so that's kind of cool as well again I definitely will need to make sure that I support her with that as always it's great to see people doing wonderful things and doing great oh bless <laughs> Buying friend sets for the grandchildren in Germany. Lego are opening a store in Hanover, their home city, in time for Christmas. That's <laughs> always the way, isn't it? <laughs> but all good. You know, I still sort of think to myself, you know, getting Lego as a gift is always lovely no matter what anyway. regardless of where it's come from, really. So I'm just hoping that I will be able to um, get some of those parts that I really want from Brickling. That's my next sort of thing I think will be really cool. I don't know whether or not I'm go actually going to end up getting the hidden side sets that I really want. I think I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Maybe, maybe not. I 
do still want to try and get the Elves Clubhouse, but again, I'll just have to see if that's in stock and when that comes into stock. I suspect that that might end up being a little bit of a <laughs> megalomaniac situation, though, where I'll probably end up getting it in February because <laughs> I think it's going to continue to sell out really, really quickly in the lead up to Christmas. So we'll just have to see. And then I did end up getting this, this set as well, the diner, which I wasn't expecting to get either. So, you know, that's okay. <laughs> okay, I might just have to be a little bit patient with that. So, yeah, it's just seeing what's happening, seeing what's going on. Right, more stuff. Funnily enough, more building to go. <laughs> to no one's surprised. Um, this bit. So, does anyone else have wish list sets in the in the chat? I know that I know a few people's wish list sets. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Robin. <laughs> I really appreciate that. It's it's more just, you know, thinking about what, you know, what would be nice. Do you know what I mean? Like it's more just sort of being coming back and being a bit realistic about what sets I would like to have in my life, <laughs> especially since space keeps on becoming more and more of a concern as well, which is part of what we all have to live with. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that's the whole thing. And I and that's where I just sort of go, you know, I think that that's why having those wish lists is always interesting because we can sort of then go, okay, you know, what what's on my wish list and what's just sort of a nice to have situation. So I think that that's sort of where I'll go. I do know that when I got the first lot of hidden side sets is that I didn't start really buying the first wave until it had until like the second wave had almost come out and gone and so that was one of the reasons why I sort of went oh you know these sets here I think that there might have been a toy sale on or something like that as well so I was just sort of like going oh you know there's a little bit of a lego discount at the moment these sets are kind of affordable they're kind of cool let's give them a go but I also sort of go, it's not the type of set where I think to myself, oh, gosh, I have to have that, otherwise it's all over. So, you know, again, we'll just see. I do know that there's a couple of other things that I do want to get from the Lego store. So that's also going to be interesting to see how that plays out as well. Oh, my gosh, yes. And I think that that's the other thing is that as we move forward with our collections is that then a lot of the easier finds and the cheaper finds are stuff that we've ticked off the list. <laughs> and then the more rare and the more difficult to find stuff then becomes more challenging. And even Mama's Bricks was talking about that last week, wasn't she, when she was talking about um, the Dragon Sanctuary set, which is one of the rare elves sets that is really difficult to find. And I know that um, that set seemed to come and go from the shops really quickly. And even when I was looking into getting that set, um, there were when I was searching for that, is that that was one of the sets that I should have still been able to get hold of, but I couldn't find it anywhere in Australia at all. And then I was Googling and searching and all of this sort of stuff, and I came across a really weird blog post, I think, or a... Reddit stream or something and they were sort of saying it seems like Lego did a really small run on that particular set which then made it <coughs> which then made it really difficult to sort of for people to find so I'm yeah I'm not surprised oh hello Ryan how are you going it's lovely that you're stopping by we're just sort of having a bit of a random chat I'm building the downtown diner today as well Ryan which is a little bit unusual for me I usually stick to my my friend sets and princesses and Harry Potter, but this is my very first modular, creator expert modular set, and it's so enjoyable to build. So it's lovely that you've stopped by to say hello. 
and um, I think I was just rambling on about collecting sets <laughs> and how much more difficult it becomes as our collections grow and particularly for the older stuff as well. And again, even some of the tips and hints that I was trying to talk to Mama's Bricks about weren't really relevant to her anymore because um, things have changed. So I know that for me it was a lot easier to be able to find um, the dragon in parts and she's and, she, and unfortunately she was even a, like saying that even finding parts for, you know, the beautiful Gust the Wind Dragon was getting so much more difficult. And I think that she said that so far she's only been able to find the lower jaw and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like they were some of the first parts that I was able to find. And I remember at the time thinking to myself, oh, well, at least if I can't buy the whole thing, I'll be able to buy, get this set in sections. So, you know, that sort of gave me a little bit of peace of mind about being able to put that particular set all together. And then Corne's got his wish list. Horse riding camp, Sunshine Ranch, horse stables, 2014, Mia's horse trailer, Emma's horse trailer. Yes, brilliant. Actually, hmm. I was going to say something to you then, but I don't know whether or not you want to hear it. <laughs> so I might not. <laughs> I think I've actually got about two or three Emma's horse trailers because that was one of the most popular sets that I was able to find secondhand. <laughs> Sorry, Porno. If you struggle to find it, let me know and I'll see if I can put um, pull one of those out and I'll send it over to you. So just keep that in the back of your mind, particularly with that one. Sean Studios is here. Hi, Sean. How are you going? It's lovely to have you here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought that's what you might have meant. <laughs> or on. And it's crazy, isn't it, when you just sort of go, it's one drumstick and there's only six sellers and it costs six euros. And you sort of go, really? <laughs> A real drumstick wouldn't cost me that much. <laughs> But again, that's that's what we do in order to have our lovely complete collections, isn't it? So it's all about weighing up all that stuff. Oh, oh, hello, woodshop teacher. How are you going? <laughs> I was just seeing everyone saying hello to you and I was like, where did you pop in from? It's lovely to have you here. I hope you've been doing really well. I haven't seen you for a little while, so... Yeah, I hope that things are going well for you over there and that um, you've still been able to enjoy doing your little Technic Tuesday stuff and whatnot. So, oh, <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> Favourite food. Excellent. I think... Um, I think that there's uh, a few guilty pleasures that we all enjoy. <laughs> And that's okay if I may. I um I'm not I I do actually quite like all that sort of fun, simple food as my treat foods as well. I think that pizza is one of my guilty pleasures, most guilty pleasures as well. And as much as I probably shouldn't be having pizza that often, it is just delicious. So that's the way it goes. <laughs> Skip dinner to get a Lego set. <laughs> oh, bless. Oops, I've missed, a, I've missed a brick. As I've been saying throughout this whole entire stream, I just can't focus today at all. That's all right. Oh, yeah. I, oh, well, I think, that, I think that, Robin, you're living very much, a, much the dream life for many of us. <laughs> You've got someone that loves you, that cooks for you and finds bargain Lego sets. 
<laughs> so I, uh, I think that that sounds amazing. Um, interestingly, Sean, in Australia, we actually don't have Burger King. We do, however, have an, a company that's called Hungry Jack which is kind of the same thing as Burger King. I'm pretty sure that possibly the when the, the Australian guy bought the Hungry Jack's franchise over from the US, he had the opportunity to rename it, and so he went with Hungry Jack's. So that's what we have here in, in Australia. I think in the U, UK, is it, is it Burger King as well? from memory i think it might be i did tend to have burger king more in the uk than what i do here because over here i tend to go for other options oh it's a meme <laughs> i don't know the meme <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about sorry <laughs> uh Oh, in and out Burger in California. Yes, everyone always raves about in and out Burger over there as well. I think that there's a few, um, like, small business cafes that are sort of close by here. Oh, I don't, I still don't understand the meme, Sean. <laughs> so, I don't know. Owned by a British company? Oh well, maybe it was when when the when the Aussie guy was doing something with the British. Then I don't know. I can imagine that that the Australian would probably then be. Weird. Oh no, hang on, I've gone the wrong direction. Oops, this way. Right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll have, Sean, you've just got to remember that I'm 175 years old. I live in the middle of nowhere in Australia and I don't own a television. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to know anything about me. Oh, now they've confused me even more. Oh, dear. Okay. I think it's like that. Yeah, is it like that? That looks right, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm 175. <laughs> it surprises a lot of people, but I am. That, that's why I have to, you know, <laughs> build retro sets like the downtown diner. Oh, dear. You should, <laughs> right. you guys should just be lucky that I even know what a meme is. <laughs> I still don't really understand gifts, but anyway, let's not, let's not unpack that today. <laughs> Guess you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> Is that in pucky years? Yeah. <laughs> all, all of the above. <laughs> Don't confuse me. <laughs> Thanks, British. <laughs> Yeah, sure, and you were close, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I know, you can't confuse, oh, here we go. Oh, woodshop teachers. Yeah, I do laugh at everything. <laughs> 
Burger King in years, you play an arm and leg and you're like, yeah, and I know. And I think that that's why it's always better just to go with um, having it as a treat. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure whether or not we're all talking about the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. But the young whippersnapper, Sean's come into my chat and confused me about memes. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it all. Right. Okay. Next little bit, I think. We're getting there. Yeah, and here. Whoops. Okay. Cool. N and the E. After everything. Well, you got to. I don't know. You can't take yourself too seriously, can you? Right. So I think, oh, we get to finish off with the R. That's, that's what we like in this place. <laughs> but just not an R for Ruth. Okay. Um, right. Here. I'm <laughs> still discussing all things junk food, sort of, in the chat. Oh, no, Amy, that's been our curse today. Everyone's struggling to find parts. Hopefully, hopefully you haven't left it in the bag. That's what we were deducing earlier, weren't we? whether or not <laughs> we've uh, left our parts behind. Corne, where did you find your part? <laughs> you can help Amy find hers. Oh, yeah, I know, it finally arrived. So I ordered that during the uh, Snow Leopard 24-hour stream. And it, it only arrived, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks back. It, it could be a month or more. I don't know. I'm, I'm very forgetful because <laughs> I'm 175 years old. But, yeah, I quite often drink out of this mug while I'm streaming. I do have my Adora Build mug, but um, it's only got my logo on this side. Whoops, on this side. And most of the time I pick it up on that side, so it just looks like a white mug. So, and the maniac has his logo on both sides. So I thought that that would be, it looks nicer. <laughs> Thanks, Ro. Yes, getting there. But I think it's going to also be quite a nice place to stop once I get there. I really like this as well. So I think that that looks really cute. Right, okay. I think I now rotate over here and do something with this bit here. So <laughs> yes, so we've got Jezza and Robin in the chat, two of my favourite British gentlemen. <laughs> which is really cool. Right, so just building up this little thing. You guys have gone quiet again. It's making me suspicious. Um, okay. Tuck that in there. I don't know. Oh, cool. Yes. Good. That's handy to know, Amy. I will remember that. I will put that into my memory bank and remember that. Even though we do have a multitude of rainbow seals thanks to the French cubes now. 
But you will be pleased to know that I do have a small collection of animals and I'm pretty sure that I already have a brown seal. Not that I would need it for anything. <laughs> oh, you guys are plotting things. That's why you've all gone quiet. Oh, no. That's terrible. You're all making me nervous now. I hope I'm not going to have another rising of my Lego children. I don't think I can handle another one of those situations. <laughs> right. I don't know which way is this supposed to go. Corner, you're meant to be helping me with this. <laughs> I've gotten bamboozled. How many of these? Three. Oh, I've only got two. I don't know where. I've... Oh, yeah, look, I'll just use this one. I don't know where the other one's gone. Right. Oh, did I miss? I was hungry. I don't know. There's strange things afoot. <laughs> strange things afoot in my chat. Very suspicious things are going on. People are confusing me about memes. Young people are confusing me about memes. <laughs> I haven't named. <laughs> no, I'm safe. Oh, phew. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> The postman hasn't come, so no progress. I know. That I think that that's always the struggle when you're just ready to build and roaring to go and then it's waiting, waiting for parts, isn't it? Right. Okay. So any... So Amy hasn't named the seal, so does anyone have a good name for a seal, which is going to be one of the characters in one of Amy's um, books, stories? Seal names. I think it would have to be something aquatic, oceanic, wouldn't it? Would it? Oh, is that? That doesn't look like it. that's the right length. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was the problem. No, oh, that was the problem. That was a massive problem. Oops. Oh, Dan's here. <laughs> Hi, Dan. How are you going, mate? I hope you've had a lovely week. Oh, Celine the seal. Oh, I like that. That's a good option. Uh, yeah, we're having a really good week, Dan. Uh, I'm just trying my best to build this, but I am having a senior's week, day, month, year. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> but I'm really loving how this build is coming along. So we've got Celine. Brickish is like, yes, Celine. Mikey. A few options there. really cool I'm having structural issues but I think it's going to be okay it'll be fine right okay I've done that bit so again now this bit's all done and curved off which is looking quite nice there's a few little gaps but I think that's just a matter of like um, a bit of finessing Bit of finagling and finessing is required, I think. Right. This, that, oh, this. <laughs> oh, dear. Dan's been shifting most of the week. Oh, yes. Excellent. <laughs> YouTube, Nintendo, and B grade movies. Exactly. A nice way to just decompress. Let go of all of that. <laughs> A good way to start the week. <laughs> C 
Kune saying yes, Celine the seal sounds better. A tribute to Celine Dion. <laughs> they even sound the same. <laughs> Celine the singing seal. Try and say that ten times quickly. <laughs> Um, uh oh, oh, burn me if you over a little. Right, is that where you're going? Yes, yes, okay, yeah, cool, right, okay, that's looking a little bit more neat now. So that's kind of cute, liking this, okay. Oh, what did I miss? Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, actually turned over two pages. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, I did it. I said it ten times. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I don't know whether or not I can. <laughs> Bricksmith. <laughs> Hi there, how are you going? It's lovely to have you here. <laughs> Could call it Sigillo. That's Esperanto for seal. Sigillo? I don't know whether or not I'm pronouncing that. And then Robin's, oops, and then Robin's saying it's very fabulant, like Patrick the Parrot or Paul the Pig. <laughs> yes. Oh, is this the right one? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> Just constantly I'm talking to myself during this stream. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it's lovely to have you here as well, Bricksmith. So, yes, although... <laughs> I don't know. You'll have you guys will have to let me know. Oh, well, it's almost three hours. Been streaming for almost three hours. Do you think that that's okay <laughs> to say goodbye, or do you want me to do, see if I can do bag three quickly? But if I do bag three, then I'm just going to have to. <laughs> um, finish up after that. So let me know how you guys are, are going. If you want me to do another bag, one more, or not. The little red letterbox goes in as well, which is super cute. I've got my first, oh no, this, oh no, this is my first white light post, lamp post. So that's kind of cute. Goes in here. Right. <laughs> so we're not going to put the political, political comments up on the screen, but that's what's happening in the chat. Okay. Cool. So there's our little ground floor of the Diner. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what's the time? Uh, it's 11 o'clock here. We'll see. Okay, last. Oh. This seems like a really good place to stop, though, but I'm enjoying chatting to you all. This is the problem. I always start streaming and then I just want to stay on stream for seven hours. <laughs> no, we'll have okay. <laughs> Suffering from voter overlord. I think a lot of people are. Right, let's take a little tour of where I've gotten up to so far. So, oops, I'll have to just move my little webcam down and around. Alrighty. So that's a little bit. <laughs> Of, of a closer look. I'm still, I don't, why, why is everything so, um, my life is just so tilted. Anyway, 
lamp post, couple of flowers. I don't know whether or not I'll keep these on here. I think that they look a little bit small. I do really like the door. That does have a really nice print on it. And as with the modular sets is that they do all come printed. I even really like the square door handle as well. I think that that looks kind of cute. The shape of this window at the front, I think, is absolutely fantastic. I honestly think that that was a huge selling point for me. I also really like the way how they've done the lettering up here too. I also think like the little details of having the staircase going up here and then even the little back door on the 45 degree angle is really cute. And then even having the veranda and the awning run over the top of here with the rubbish bins and the boxes. Even this whole thing of having part of the um, exhaust fan out the back is really cool too. And then I even quite like the details of, you know, the lights under here and then the light up here as well, I think is really super cute as well. Let's see if I can get you guys to have a better look on the inside. So again, on the inside, oh, hang on, let's see if we can make that less shadowy. <laughs> So again, I like these printed tiles. The jukebox is really cute. Yes, there's a pancake stuck in my sofa because it fell off the pancake on the top because there wasn't a stud. I really like the coffee machine. I thought that that was really cute as well. And again, I even like the fact that the back door is sort of hidden from the front view of the diner as well. Again, the red, the black and the white with the curved interiors is really cute. The gumball machine is really awesome as well. And then like the little diner chairs over here too. Like I just sort of think all of that's super cute. And then the ketchup um, and the mustard on the table with the napkin dispenser is also super cute as well. Yes, yes, I agree. Such a nice modular. I was so lucky at finding this. It was so cool. Yes, I agree with you, Woodshop Teacher, as well. It's got such nice details. It's so awesome. And then even things like over here with the cookers, with the burners and everything, you know, I just sort of go, that's really cute. The little, whoops, the little bench over here is really nice as well with just like the fry pan and the, and the chopping knife soda machines down here whoops <laughs> i'm trying to look at the the tv the set and what i'm pointing at it's too much hi toshon whoops hi toshon it's lovely to have you here so yeah and then i just think that the color scheme with the um with the pink and the dark teal is also really nice as well so yeah and then just even like the little details of having like the pale pink and the teal um, in, in between, you know, the, the stripes that we get over here is really cool as well. Like just those little sort of details and, and thought that's gone into it too. I just think it's really nice. Even these like little curved bits on the steps here is a really nice little detail as well. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Brickish. <laughs> yeah, take Sean. It's funny that you say that because this is my first modular set, but I've only just got it. So I couldn't believe my luck. It came back into um, the Lego store and I happened to be on the Lego shop. Well, I was going onto the Lego shop to look for something else. I think it was some of the hidden side sets, the haunted mansion and that sort of thing. And... Um, I clicked onto my wanted list and this happens to be on my wanted list still because it's still listed as out of stock in Australia and it was in stock and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Kelpie the seal, oh, my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. I will probably make it a little bit more mini doll <laughs> but I think that this architect style is going to look really nice in my city. Um, and it's something that I've always liked, this sort of like art deco retro sort of vibe is, is something that, I, that I've always sort of had an affinity for. So it's nice to have been able to get it. And I even think things like, you know, the pink Cadillac is going to look awesome as well. 
So, yeah, and I have started to go through and, and dollify, mini dollify some of the characters as well. So hopefully I can get a little bit more of that done. Yeah, so um, we will leave it here for tonight because it is, I've now been streaming for almost three hours, but I will remind everyone that next week it is the 72-hour winter live stream and I do have not one but two different slots, but it will be at a different time to now. So it will be on Saturday afternoon. So if you can't watch my stream at that time because it's going to be <laughs> you'll be asleep or not around or whatever, that's cool. If you feel like watching a stream at this time later in the day, you can re-watch my stream or you can find out who's streaming in the 72-hour stream and jump into their chat. Generally speaking, the weekend of the 72-hour live stream, I do try and watch as many of the live streams as possible. It's a really great way to find new channels. I know that that's how I came across Sai's channel, which is super fantastic and really enjoyable. Um, I know that I also came across um, Brett's channel through that as well. So, you know, it's a really nice way to just get to know other, other Lego fans and, and see if you like their their live streaming style and whatever. And again, I'll then be streaming on the Sunday as well. So, oh, Tayshon, um, usually uh, Butt Chop organises that. And fortunately this year I was sent the link. I don't know whether or not there are any slots left, but um, you might be able to jump on and guest with someone. However, in saying that, oh, I better just check what time I'm, I'm going to be streaming because <laughs> I'd be happy to have you on as one of my guests. But I think that we're 12 hours apart and I'm not too sure whether or not that's going to work for you yet because I'm going to be streaming at 3 o'clock my afternoon, which will be 3 o'clock in the morning for you um, on both days. So, yeah, but I'll um, I, if you're on Instagram, I can send you the links. So I will let you know how that all happens. I think that there's a few other people that you might know as well who will be live streaming at different times too. Um, and the way that we signed up this year was a little bit different as well. Yeah, so it's full. Yeah, I thought so because I'm pretty sure that I got a couple of the last spots because they're at 3 p.m. <laughs> my time, which is pretty much when everybody else is asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, Tayshawn, and it's really cool. And I think that that's what we're trying to do with the 72-hour live stream as well, is encourage other people to come in and join in and watch. Again, I think um, that's where I would quite like to have different guests on as well that haven't really participated in the live stream before too. So, again, if anyone wants to jump in and guest with me, just send me a message. Usually on Instagram's the best or under one of my YouTube videos as well. I tend to check those more than Facebook. Amy can speak to that as well. <laughs> yes, I know Wombat's here too. <laughs> so Wombat's hanging out with the diner. <laughs> so he's all good. Cool. Oh, you and Sloth are 12 p.m. Saturday night. Yes, fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah, so again, um, I will try and put up the little thumbnails earlier in the week so that you guys can see when I'm streaming and just remind yourself that that's what's happening this Saturday night. Um, but again, I'd really encourage you to just go along and watch and chat and meet more, more people and that type of stuff. <laughs> I know, nobody knows what day it is or what's happening. I had to keep thinking to myself, when is the live stream even going on? So, and again, quite often you'll have different people try and have different guests on as well. And I think that that's all also really nice too. And I know that during the, um, the summer live stream was that I missed out on having my own slot, but it was really nice because um, quite a few people just invited me onto the stream with them as well, which was really nice. So that's where I just sort of go, if you haven't been able to organise yourself, just, again, let me know. I, Tayshon, I don't think the time difference is going to work between me and you this time, buddy. 
but we'll have to just, yeah, we might be able to stream another time together in the future. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're on Instagram, still send me a DM, though, um, and then I can just give you a few more details about how that all, all sorts out. Yeah, and that's that's the same with me as well, Brickish. Let's <laughs> check out as many streams. Yeah, and I think that that's, that's how we met, Brett, was because I kept on seeing you chatting in all the streams and I was chatting in quite a few of the streams as well, which was really cool. And, again, that's where I just sort of went. It was really nice for people who weren't necessarily even streaming was that we still got to know so many other people as well. <laughs> Oh, you don't have Instagram. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a comment. I'll write a comment on one of your um, YouTube videos and I'll give you a few more details about it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, 10 o'clock in the morning for you. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock in the evening for me. So there might be a bit of a, a swap in the time difference there, but, yeah. It's still going to be at, like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning for you. Yeah, exactly. And that's and that's I think what, what's been really nice as well is that, you know, like what Woodshop Teacher was saying a couple of weeks ago, is that it's just a matter of subscribing to different people and watching different content and coming across different channels. And again, Corne, it's because of you that I was able to come across L of L. Um, Brett, it's, I'm so happy that you were able to send Bricksloth my way as well. I've really been enjoying their content. I think that they've got such a fantastic Lego city. It's something that's really enjoyable and unique. You know, so again, I just sort of go, it's just about being able to find people that we can share Lego stuff with. So, yeah. Alrighty, so that's a reminder. I'll do my best to post up my little thumbnails once I've figured out what I'm actually going to be building, but I think I will probably go back and build up a couple of retro friend sets and probably do like the snow resort stuff. So yeah, I think that that should be fun. I might even see if I finish building the diner on one of them as well. I know that uh, Steve has offered to uh, me a guest spot on one of his live streams as well. So um, I might finish this off on one of those. I've also got the Avengers Heli Carrier to build as well. So, you know, we'll see what, what happens during the live stream. But I think that I'll try and keep both of my live streams going to be, yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly, Tayshon. It's just about, you know, being able to find new channels and sort of going, oh, my gosh, the stuff that you're building is awesome. Because there's so many awesome builders out there. And there's, I think the thing that I really like is um, when channels are unique to themselves. So they enjoy building what they build and they just want to share that with different people. You know, I think that that's one of the reasons why I really like Rogue Transformations. His builds are almost the complete opposite to mine. But I love seeing that. You know, I think that that's really cool. Alrighty, so rather than spending another 20 minutes saying goodbye to you all, I will wrap things up now. We've now just gone past three hours. So I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your weekends. If you do, um, yeah. So again, I hope that you all just enjoy the rest of your weekends. It's been absolutely lovely chatting with you all over the last three hours. As per usual, you guys just make my week. I have so much fun chatting to you all. It's just absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to next week. Again, if you can't make the 72-hour stream, that's fine. The week after, I will be going back to my normal time, 8 p.m. on a Saturday. So, yeah, take care, everyone, and stay awesome. Yeah, take care, Dan. Night-night. See you, Corno. Hope you have a magical week as well. Make sure that you just rest up and get better. Um, see you, Brickish. Yeah, take care as well. See you later, Woodshop Teachers. Thank you so much for stopping by as well. I really missed chatting with you over the last couple of weeks, so it's good to see you pop back in. Take care, Brett. I'm sure that I'll be chatting to you over on Instagram a little bit this week as well. <laughs> All righty. Night, night, everyone. Take care. See you later, Amy. Have a good weekend.